Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here with your next math flip lesson of the week. This week we've been looking at input and output tables, we've been looking at function machines, we've been looking at numbers increasing, getting bigger, and numbers decreasing, getting smaller. But all of these things have only been happening by the use of one rule. Well today you're going to be looking at patterns with more than one rule. And as you're watching this video, I want you to make sure that you don't get tripped up. Don't get tripped up in thinking, okay, I've done this one part of the rule and now I'm done. Don't forget that second rule that you need to be applying to your input and output tables. Good luck. So our guiding question of today is how do you generate a patterns number sequence <laughs> when it has two or more given rules? For example, the rule is double the number and add one. Take a look at that and part. And tells me I have more than one part. I have an and there. Tells me there are two parts to my rule. Double the number and add one. In this lesson you will learn how to generate a number sequence of a pattern using two given rules by using a t-chart, which is a chart that looks like a t. Let's review steps and rules. We have these numbers here in our sequence. We have two, four, six, and eight. The two is my step one, the four is step two, the six is step three, the eight is step four, and so on. My rule is what happens to those numbers as they go through the steps. So in this case, my rule is plus two. Two plus two is four, four plus two is six, six plus two is eight, and so on. A common mistake. When generating a number pattern for a set of rules, don't stop after the first rule. You need to apply the complete set of rules to each step in the pattern. Patterns can have two or more rules. So in this case, our rule for our first example is double the step number and rotate a shape, shape a quarter turn clockwise. So. My step one, I have a two, and my arrow shape is pointing to the right. Step two, okay, I need to double the step number and rotate a shape quarter clockwise, a quarter turn clockwise. So I have my step two, okay, I need to double my step number. My number is two. Two twos is four, okay, but take a look. I didn't rotate my shape a quarter turn clockwise. Okay, my shape's still going the same way. I need to rotate a quarter turn clockwise so that my arrow is pointing down. And a way for, this is just a side note, a way for you to determine whether you've turned your shape a quarter turn, think of a clock, okay? This would be quarter past or 15 minutes past whatever hour you're on. A quarter more of that clock would be half past, okay? So this was a quarter, okay? And then we turned the shape a quarter more. My step three, okay? There's my step number. I need to double my step number. Three and three is six. And now I went from half past, if we're taking, if we're looking at a clock, to a quarter till, okay? So I turned my shape a quarter. Step four, okay, there's my step number. I double that number, which would be an eight, and I'm now pointing at the hour. I'm making that quarter turn, and I'm pointing upwards. This would be a lot easier if we didn't have to draw these shapes out, okay? So we're gonna use a double T chart. So I have a T here and a T here, okay? Normal T charts don't have this line. They just have one line and it looks like a T. Instead, we're using a double T chart. So. I'm using this t-chart to signify my steps, my result of doubling that step, and then the arrow direction, the direction that my arrow is going to go. So step one, I doubled this number, I got two, and my direction was pointing to the right. Step two, I doubled my number, got four, my arrow was pointing down. Step three, I doubled my number, was became six, and my arrow is pointing to the left. Step four, I doubled my number and got an eight, and my arrow is now pointing up. Step five, I doubled my number, and I know it's not over here. Step five, I doubled my number and got 10, and take a look, my number is pointing to the right again. So, if you take a look at these four arrows, okay, 
one pointed to the right, down, left, up. We would call this my core pattern. It's the pattern that continues repeating and repeating and repeating throughout the course of finding these the next sequence of our pattern. So my error direction is, as I said, left, down, right, up. So I have left, and then I'm going to have down, and then the next part will be right, and the next part will be up. And it makes sense. Okay? Here's my next one. The rule is double the number and add one. So we don't have to worry about the shape pointing towards a certain direction. We just have to take a look at some numbers. So the rule is double the number and add one. So there's my regular t-chart. I don't have a double t-chart this time. I just have a t-chart, one, one t. Okay? So there's my step. There's my rule, and my rule is double the number and add one. So if I take a look, okay, I could reword this rule, double the number, as the number plus the number, or two times the number plus one, okay? So my first step, I have here, one. So I have two times one plus one is three. Step two. I'm doubling this number here, okay? So two times two is four, plus one is five. My third step, I'm doubling this number. So three times two, or two times three, is six, plus one is seven. Four, if I double that number, is eight, plus one is nine, and then five, Double that number, five times two is 10, plus one is 11. And six, two times six is 12, plus one is 13, okay? If I wanted to write these numbers in a sequence, it would look like this, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, and so on. And notice that here, I don't have to put any punctuation. I don't have to put commas because they're in a list form. But here, when I'm writing numbers in a sequence, I have to make sure I put this comma here. If I don't have this comma, whoever's reading your results will think you have a 35, or they'll think you have 357,900, whatever that number would be, okay? In this lesson, you have learned how to generate a number pattern sequence by using a T-chart.